write the equation of this line in vector form. So here we have the Cartesian equation, x minus 3 over 4 is equal to y plus 2 over minus 3, z minus 4 over 2. Okay, so what you do is you let all these be equal to some parameter. We normally use lambda, t is often used, s is often used, mu is often used, so it's equal to some letter. So what we say, as they're all equal to each other, this component here is equal to lambda, and then we, what we do is we make land x a subject, so that will become 4 times lambda plus 3, but it's better to write it as x is equal to 3 plus 4 lambda, as you'll see in a minute. The next one we've got y plus 2 over minus 3, so making y the subject, we get y is equal to minus 3 lambda, minus 2, but we're going to write that as minus 2 minus 3 lambda, Next case, z minus 4 over 2 is equal to lambda. And then we're going to get z is 2 lambda plus uh, 4. But we'll write that as z is equal to 4 plus 2 lambda. Now, so x, y, and z. x, y, and z will be equal to the point, which is going to be given from these 3 minus 2, 4. 3 minus 2, 4. Plus lambda times the directional vector, which is going to be 4 minus 3, 2. We usually use R for the um, for x, y, z, so R will be equal to 3 minus 2, 4, plus lambda 4 minus 3, 2, which gives me that R is equal to A plus lambda D. Let's just have a look at that on this uh, GeoGebra app. I hope I've put all the components in right. Uh, that should be this one should be a four. Let's just change that to be a four. Okay, we've got, there's the directional vector. And if we uh, move the slider here at the top, we'll get the line. This is the line here. Okay, here we've got the Cartesian equation. Notice here it's given minus y minus 2 of the software. If that was minus 3, uh, that would make that plus 2, and that would make that uh, y. It's just the way that the software's worked to give the equation, the Cartesian equation, the line. But you can see this is the vector equation, and this gives me the point when lambda is equal to minus 2.5, as it is at the moment. Okay, again, this GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.